This video is about my chicken coop and more specifically about the solar system. I'm going to break down the components of it. Um, chickens um, stop laying or decrease their laying during the winter, not because of the cold weather, but because of the shorter, the shorter amount of uh, daylight. So if you do put a um, light bulb inside your coop on a timer, then it starts to increase the laying again. So here's what I did. I didn't want to run a, an extension cord or a conduit from the barn that has power up to the chicken coop. So I decided to do everything standalone, starting with a solar panel on the roof that goes into a that goes into a charge controller and then charges the battery that is in this uh, metal case right here then it goes through a timer a dimmer and a photo cell so 8 watts 12 volt LED light bulbs and then there's another one in the run part also over here solar panel on the roof feeding into the charge controller and the charge controller going into the battery the solar panel charges the battery through the charge controller this one happens to give you a lot of information as in regards to the voltage of the battery the capacity um, actually have not read the direction but this charge controller takes the power from the solar panel charges the battery power from the battery goes through this timer I installed this dimmer also so that I can set the intensity of the light bulb at the photocell also I have the timer set as um, going on at nine, six o'clock in the morning and then turning off at nine o'clock at night which replicates the summer solstice uh, but there is this photo cell right here so if there's enough ambient light from the Sun it doesn't it, it will not turn on if you do happen to have this same exact timer here's a breakdown of how it works to unlock it you're going to press the cr button four times one two three four the icon that was there disappeared remember you press on the p button right here this is program one on it turns on at six o'clock in the morning and then it turns off that's one off at 21 hours which is nine o'clock at night you can set what day of the week um, the program does turn on. I have it set for Monday through Sunday, which is every day. But by pressing the week button right here, you can cycle through every day in combination of days. So I have it on every day here. And then you have two on, two off, three on, three off, all the way up to 16. You have 16 programs. Then to get out of it, you press clock. To exit it, to lock it again, you can press CR four times or just not touch it for a few seconds and then it will lock automatically. The light bulb is not on because of the photocell. But if I cover the photocell with my fingers for a few seconds to make it think like it's nighttime, it will eventually, boom, turn on. Turning it on manually, you unlock it first by pressing four times on the CR. Then you have the manual button right here, which cycles from auto to off, auto on auto off auto on i have this in a waterproof enclosure outside i could have mounted everything on the inside of the chicken coop and save myself the cost of those enclosure but i think it's cool to look at it sizing the whole system as far as the size of the solar panel the size of uh, your battery and uh, the load usage of your device which is So this system is using two light bulbs at 8 watt, which is 16 watts times 6 hours per day that they will be on at the most, which creates a 96 watt hour per day of usage. Battery capacity. So in this case, I happen to have an 18 amp hour battery. This is an 18 this is a 12, 12 volt battery at 18 amp hour. It says AGM, which stands for absorb glass mat, meaning that it is a sealed battery with no spillable. It's a non-spillable 
battery has no liquid that was spilled. We want to convert those amp hour into watt hours. Amps times voltage equals watts. So if you have 18 amp hours, you multiply that by the voltage of the battery, which is 12 volts. And that gives you 216 watt hour of capacity. However, when you deal with batteries, you don't want to discharge more than 50% of the battery. You don't want to use more than 50% of it. So you divide that by two. That gives you 108 watt hour of capacity, which is bigger than your 96 watt hour per day of usage. So that battery is able to sustain that system. This is still very conservative because of my dimmer. I don't use the full eight watts of it. And also this is considering six hours per day, which is also very, very much compared to what it will actually use. When it comes to the solar panel, a 100 watt solar panel gives out 400 watt hours per day of charge capacity. I do have a 50 watt solar panel in this case, which gives me 200 watt hour of capacity each day. My 200 watt hours does work more than enough for my 108 watt hour needed to charge each day. You're gonna have the charge controller, the timer, the solar panel, the dimmer, the battery, the enclosures, the photocell, the miscellaneous and wires. For the charge controller, it cost me $12. The timer itself was about $12 as well. What I spend right here, and this is what you could do for less money. On the solar panel, I spent $61, so that would also be a necessity. The dimmer itself is $4, but you could do without a, uh, without a dimmer, so I'm going to put zero on here. The battery cost me nothing because I happen to have it, but this battery here cost $40. The enclosure cost me $25 and $40, which equals $65, but you could do it with um, t um, any kind of Tupperware of, uh, or plastic box of any sorts you could also I could have mounted all that stuff on the inside of the coop and not need any of uh, the enclosure photo cell is $15 you could get away without a photo cell but again you would have to go back and reprogram your timer every so often every 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 month or so wires and miscellaneous I would put about $16 for what I spent again if you have some stuff laying around or if you get creative, you may be able to do it without it. Anyway, on the low end, you will spend $125 and I happen to spend $185 for this. The solar panel on top, charge controller, dimmer, timer, photocell, battery, and then you have happy chickens. Thank you.